What's up everybody, Sonic Blue here for Let's Play Minecraft, and we are looking at the new snapshot. And uh, that would be the new snapshot in preparation for Minecraft version 1.12. And in the new snapshot, there is a new non-hostile mob known as parrots. They come in different colors. There's your red one over there on the jukebox. And there's your gray. I got a green one over there, another gray one. And they also come in blue and light blue. I don't have any of them because they died. <laughs> they escaped my my little home here, walked over here, activated my automatic door, and then stood here and let the door kill them. But anyhow. These are the surviving parrots that I have. Now... How to tame a parrot. Let me see if I have any uh, spawn eggs for the parrots. Yes, I do. No, oh, I didn't want to throw those. Get those back over here. All right. Let's see if I can spawn a couple more parrots. There's a blue one. There's another blue one. There's another red. I'm filling my room up with parrots. The colors I already have. There's another blue. I want a light blue. Give me a light blue one. There we go. Okay, now I got a light blue. There are four colors in all. Those are all the colors. Now, you notice you can't once they uh, once you find them, and you find them in the jungle basically. But uh, I went ahead and picked up, uh, you know, went into creative mode and uh, picked up a few spawn eggs. But uh, once you are in the jungle, you can find a lot of these parrots wandering freely. So they are tameable. You just need to tame them with some cookies. Only want a cookie. There you go. There you go. You're tame. You're tame, I know, because I've uh, tamed you myself. You're tame now. Tame the blue guy. Tame the red one. And you notice the sounds they make are, of course, little chirping sounds, but they also imitate the sounds of nearby hostile mobs. Zombies, creepers, witches. And they'll even imitate the sounds of villagers. It's really funny listening to them imitate nearby mobs. But, um... The only thing they don't really imitate, though, are chickens. I've noticed that. They don't imitate the chickens. But now that we got all of our birds tamed, in the new snapshot, right-clicking them will perch them. That means that uh, when they're perched, they will not follow you. When they're unperched, they will follow you. Let's unperch this guy. Okay, so now he's up, he's flying around, he's happy, and he will follow you. If you get too far, he'll teleport to you. Let's see if I can go far away where he can catch up to me okay they're supposed to teleport to you if you get far up oh, there he is <laughs> he's in the glass how did you get there okay let's bring him back <laughs> wow of all the places to teleport to and he went into the glass that's why I couldn't see him before all right so we're going back maybe he'll teleport back who knows but anyway, once they're perched, this is really funny. If you get out a jukebox, and I notice they like this song, but they'll dance to anything, but you put a record in the jukebox and watch what happens. They start dancing! Look at that! The dancing parrots, look at that! Anybody, who, any of the parrots that are nearby or on a jukebox, they'll start dancing. Isn't that cool? They're dancing parrots, they love music. And once you stop the music, they stop dancing. Put the record back. Now, how to get a parrot to ride on your shoulders in the new update to the snapshot it used to be where you right-click them and they go up onto your shoulders, but not anymore. Right-clicking them will perch them, but now you have to just walk into them and now they're on your shoulder. You can have two parrots on your shoulder. Come on. And now they're on my shoulder. If I hit F5, then they won't be on my shoulder. 
as you can see. They're not there. So I think that's... They're still working on the update to the um, um, new snapshot. But if you jump, they reappear. So jumping gets rid of the parrots that are on your shoulders. Now you cannot perch a parrot when it's in the air. You can't perch him. You can make him go down and land, and then once he's on the floor, you can perch him. Park him. Let's park the blue guy too. Okay. You're parked. And the blue one's parked. Okay. Those guys are perched. Yeah, I got so many parrots in here now. Oh, did I pick one up? Did I pick him up? I don't know if I picked him up or not. But anyway. That is the new update to Minecraft are the parrots and what bundles of joy they can be. Now, they are still updating the snapshot. The final version before it becomes Minecraft 1.12 may not be exactly like this. Uh, they updated the snapshot to where you can't pick up the parrots by right-clicking them anymore. Uh, now, right-clicking them perches them down, but walking into them now gets them onto your shoulders. Uh, I also know that when you put on your Elytra, they will fly with you. If you use a rocket on your Elytra, then they will jump off your shoulders as well as uh, just jumping. We'll get them off your shoulders as well. Um, other than that, that is um, all of the updates that I um, know of that are going to be in the 1.12 version. Other than the new blocks, which I have already put into my treasure trove. And while I'm at it here, let me show everybody the additional wings that I put in my treasure trove. Because there is just so many new rooms to build. And I haven't shown anybody my treasure area in such a long time. Matter of fact, I haven't given much of a tour uh, in this particular area. But my uh, treasure room kind of expanded down here. And this is where I keep all of the different... Uh, blazed terracotta blocks of different colors. And I put them in skulker boxes that match the colors of the terracotta. So, that's this room. So, let me leave here. And yeah, you can definitely tell. Whoa, what was that? Hey, what are you doing? Didn't I perch you? I guess I didn't perch you. <laughs> Silly parrot. Where'd you go? Up oh, there's quite a few of them that didn't get perched. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. And my chair I put you over here so you could sit and watch the lava. That's my sitting room. Anyhow, um... Let me, um... Let me just see if I can make it back to my main treasure room, because I did promise everybody a tour of my main treasure room. So let's go there now. Last time I showed you my treasure room, it was just basically this room, that room over there, this room up here, that room down there, this one down here. But I have added so many things, like I've made uh, rockets, different style rockets, uh, into fireworks and put them all in corresponding skulker boxes according to color. So now I have all of those up there. Oh my God, TNT. Well, I'm doing okay. Doing okay on TNT. Firework stars. Firework rockets. There's my charcoal. I found a lot of coal. <laughs> and I killed a lot of uh, creepers to get all of that gunpowder. So now I'm full on gunpowder. Uh, this is my weaponry and armory. This is all my stone. Over here is my redstone. Over there is my iron ingots. Um, did I show everybody the, um, I think I showed everybody the, um, oh yes, and, uh, in the new 1.12 update, um, you're going to notice this recipe book. The recipe book is going to contain all of the patterns of which you can build different items. And the ones that are in the red are the ones that you do not have enough items in your inventory to make. Um... I think I showed everybody iron nuggets last time, though, too, and that's what you can make out of the uh, iron ingots. Um, but now you can actually store recipes in this book, so that way 
if you have the ingredients to make whatever is in your book, or whatever you pick up the new ingredient, it shows up in your recipe book as to what you can build with them. So let me just, uh, let's see, what can I make, what can I make, what can I make? Um, let's take some bones. Alright, just for an example. So go over to your crafting table, and what we're going to do is look for the bone meal. That's what you can make out of bones. We're going to hit the shift key, hold that down, and then click on the bone meal icon on your recipe book. And it automatically places all of the items into the crafting table so that you can just take your items and be done in an instant. And I thought that was the most awesome update they could ever have made. So now I have all this bone meal. Just with an easy click of a button, where usually it would take lots of clicks to get that. That is one of the other new additions, is your inventory screen. And you can toggle the recipe book by clicking on this little icon here, and this opens it up and closes it. And all of the things that you pick up are all of the things that you can make using your recipe book, just as easy as pie. Pumpkin pie. Yum. But those are the new updates that you're going to be seeing in the new update for 1.12. And now back to my treasure room because I didn't really fully show my treasure area. But um, in here, um, da -da -da, there's my freezer. This is for frozen foods. And uh, in here I got my raw rabbit, raw mutton, fish, packed ice, raw chicken, raw pork chops, snow, snowballs, and raw beef. So this is my freezer. No, you don't belong in the freezer, bird. <laughs> This is my nether area, and anything that is found in the nether is placed in amongst these treasure boxes. Got magma blocks, magma cream, blaze rods, gas tears, and nether stars. I'm full on those things, too. Over here is my ender stuff, anything that you find in the end, and I had to add some uh, another wing to it, uh, such as the chorus flowers, the purple items, the blocks, the stairs, the boxes... Skulker boxes. And then this is how you get... I think. <laughs> I meant for this to be accessible to the... Oh, sorry. Oh my god, I killed a bird and inside... It, in the wall? No, it was in the skulker box. Oh, I'm sorry, birdie. Oh, poor bird. But now I need a way to get through here, so... I need to open that up. Where am I going to put you? Let's put you over here. I hear zombies out there. Anyway, let me just stick that up on the wall there, and that way I have my magma concrete. Mag or, sorry, magenta concrete. This is all the concrete and concrete powders of all different colors, of course, corresponding to the color of the skulker boxes that they're placed in. And I did show you in the last video for Minecraft how to make concrete out of concrete powder. And there's your concrete. There's your concrete powder for orange. So, basically, that's that. Purple. So I had to stick you over here because obviously you're blocking my path here. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's another wing to my treasure room which leads outside I've really fixed this place up I'm still working on little bits and pieces here and there to fully complete this whole underground area over here is my underwater place where I put all my prismarine prismarine bricks sponges anything found in the underwater regions and underwater temples got sea lanterns crystals shards and lots of other stuff that's found under the sea. So follow me, birdies. Don't get trapped in the wall again. And then, of course, the regular items like food and bricks and stone blocks and brick blocks. Over here are the diables. I have all of my stained glass, stained glass blocks, wool, all that other stuff that resemble things you can dye. Over here is my desert area, this little tiny area where I keep all of my sand, sandstone, smooth sandstone, chiseled sandstone, etc., etc. And down here, I gave this wing to the 
um, to the um, place where you find red sand, red sandstone, and red things basically you find in the mesas. Over here is my library, and this is where all the books and paper and ink and all that stuff go, and maps. I added a different area for maps and compasses and stuff like that. Over here is my Halloween room. I love this room. Uh, this is where I keep the pumpkins, the jack-o'-lanterns, the eyes, the uh, spider's eyes. I got fermented eyes, slime blocks and slime balls, bones, bone meal, bone blocks. Uh, yeah, I ran into a lot of skeletons and they gave me a lot of stuff to work with, so now I'm full on bones. There's all my heads, different types of heads. Rotten flesh, I'm really stocked up on. And back to the library, back through the mesa. Over here is where I put all of my chemistry stuff, like potions and lingering potions, splash potions, awkward water, dragon's breath, glass bottles, water bottles, glistening melon, golden carrots, anything that I need to make potions out of. There's my rabbit's feet and, of course, my alchemy center with cauldrons filled to the brim with water which the door leads outside so that is my updated treasure room for the most part actually I didn't even show you my transportation room which I had to kind of add later I'll go ahead and take you there there are many ways to get in and out of the treasure room but because Minecraft likes to update a lot, <laughs> I'm having to expand this area a lot. Pretty soon the whole thing is, the whole underground is going to be nothing but treasure. Hey, I see a spider. Die. You're not supposed to be here. Get out of here. Okay, over here are my wooden items, fences, signs, anything wooden, doors. Okay, over here are my horse armors, leads, anything dealing with horses, pets, anything like that. This is my transportation room. And as you can see, my my boxcars are not going. Go. Mine car, go. Okay, they don't want to. But I could make this whole thing powered, but eh. It is what it is. But anything, anyhow, this is all of my transportation needs. My activator rails deflector or detector rails rather mine carts uh, let's see I have my powered rails there and a uh, command block with all my elytra in it and what's this oh these are just rails I don't have a sign for just rails I'm slacking aren't I don't I have signs no I don't have any signs all right so go back through here and that is pretty much the update to my treasure room now, I could show you down here, too, but this is going to be a long tour if I showed everybody all of this. As you can see, the ceiling has been put in. I've put in lots of different segments, lots of different rooms. There's a zombie villager. Ah, what's up? Ooh, parrot was shot by the skeleton. How dare you? You shot my parrot. Let's see if you can shoot this creeper and give me a record. Give me a record. No, don't blow up. Don't blow up. I want that skeleton to shoot the creeper. That would be awesome. All zombies, clear out. Oh, no, no. No! Darn it. Oh, well. Sometimes I get lucky and I find a skeleton that'll shoot a creeper and give me a record in, re in return, so... That's usually a fun time. And even though I do have all of the records and multiple copies of them, it's still fun to grab records. It's always a challenge. I know there are certain ways that you can make traps for the creepers to fall into so that they get killed by skeletons so you can get constant records. But like I said, I got constant, like, copies of all the records. I don't really need them, but... I still like to go and do it the old-fashioned way. I try to just get the skeletons to shoot creepers when they're in the line of fire. Because it's a challenge. It's a fun challenge. Okay, so... Oh, gee, can you tell my Halloween room is upstairs? Nah, you couldn't tell. 
Here's my patch of nether wart. And I have a similar patch up here, which is smaller. My underground hydroponic farm here, which... Why is all of that grass? I don't know. It grassed over. Well, how are my chickens doing anyway? I got a, some chickens left. Okay, my parrot now has gone onto my... No, now he hasn't. Wait a minute, are you perched or not? No, you're not perched. Okay, climb on my shoulder. If you are on my shoulder. I don't know if you are or not, because this snapshot isn't really all that stable. Because I keep changing the things with the parrots. Oh, and my red one is no longer perched on my jukebox. Okay, why is that? All right. Let's see if I got any parrots on my shoulder? No. Alright. I wonder if you'll dance to this, the, this record. I'm curious. They do. Why are you dancing to sound effects? I have no idea. Why are you guys dancing to sound effects? That's not even a song. Look, this guy's dancing too. Get down with your bad self. Yeah. It's a di it's a dance party for parrots. Look at this. Blue guy. Come here, blue guy. Okay. I don't understand that blue one. The blue one just kind of jumped on my shoulder, then he didn't. I didn't jump at all. You're going to get perched. Perch yourself. Alright, that's enough dancing. So anyway, that is the update for Minecraft Snapshot, uh, the current Snapshot, uh, I think 17W whatever the code is, I can't remember. But it is going to be a part of the new update for Minecraft 1.12, and... Uh, be on the lookout for it. They're still ironing out the snapshot before it becomes official, so uh, whatever might be official right now with the time of making this video may not be the way it might be when it releases into the final version, but just keep checking back here. I'll fill you all in. Not to worry. I'm right here with you. So until next time, this is Sonic Blue for Let's Play Minecraft, the new snapshot update that is going to become the version 1.12. Be on the lookout for it, and they are coming closer and closer to finishing it. Let's hope that it's a good one. So see you next time, and happy mining!